Here's him. He's the bad boy. Hello. As we board the loop, our driver marks us down at his lot. We show our student ID, which grants students, faculty, and other personnel free access to the loop. For anybody else, the loop is in reasonable 50 cents. Three months ago, the New Paltz Loop service celebrated its one-year anniversary. The loop is a popular form of transportation for SUNY New Paltz students and residents of the town alike. Although the loop has been in operation for over a year, there is still some confusion as to the policies of a swift ride. They might have to go around one and a half times to get where they're going. No, we're not going to Kingston. No, this is New Paltz. I stay in New Paltz. Where are you going? Rosendale? Kingston? Yeah, that's another bus. Our driver then begins listing the guidelines that he feels the college should use to educate the loop's passengers. Kids coming up here as, as freshmen? Wherever they come from, if they come from the city, or maybe not the city so much, there's a few things, but, the, but the, especially the kids in the country, they ride a school bus, all right? Now, a school bus is treated by the public in a completely different way than public transportation is. In other words, if this is a school bus and I stop, everybody stops in both directions for me. Yeah. And, right. and, and people can get off across the street. But in public transportation, it's not that way. And what happens is these kids are so used to getting on and off a school bus, they get off this bus and they walk right out and the car is coming around. And I'm saying, if you get hit by a car, I just don't want to see it. That's all. There are not only problems with the students exiting off the bus, but with students attempting to board the bus at improper and risky times. The other thing is, see how we have two lanes here? They want to board the bus now. And I have to tell them, no, you can't board the bus now. They don't understand that. You know, they want to cross a lane of traffic. You can't do that. See, this, these are like things you shouldn't be doing. There are other issues that our loop driver felt needed to be addressed in order to improve rider safety. Common sense things that everyone should know. Oh, the other thing is the intersections. I tell everybody, and I think this, this should be on the list of four things too, stay 100 feet up away from intersections. Because what they do is that for whatever reason, they want to stand on the corner and have me stop and block the intersection and pick them up. Uh -huh. yeah. And I tell them, no, don't do that, and, flat, and then I stop here, see? Uh -huh. And that way, all the cars in the intersection, I may be stopping them, but I'm not blocking the whole intersection. Right. Another thing, they're so used to, like a lot of kids come from the city, they are used to bus stops. This whole loop does not work on bus stops, it works on flat. Yeah. And what happens is they stand there and, and they and, and they just stand there and watch you go by and then they call in and say that you pick, that you drove by them and didn't pick them up. You know, so so all they need is a little like four four step guideline to give out to the students. Aside from these four concerns, our driver insists that his time with the loop has been a smooth ride.